Three, two, one, go. All right, so I just want to show you a quick way to upload sculpts from Nomad Sculpt to Blender. So essentially, you just want to go into your scene menu, and I'm just going to select all of my meshes that I want to send to Blender. You want to make sure you don't have any layers or any, uh, if you add a layer, there's going to be like a green dot. You want to make sure you don't have any dots. You just want the, each mesh to be flat. So I have all my layers. Now I'll just go here to the little folder. Why won't this go away? And then I scroll down to export and GLTF. And vertex colors, I don't think I need PBR paint, so just vertex colors. So that will send the colors. In Blender, you'll still have to reset like the uh, roughness and things like that. But the colors will go, so that's good. So next you just export. So here we have all visible and selected. So I want to do selected because I don't want everything to go. So then I'll just export to GLTF and send to my computer. So now it's once it's at my computer, I'll open it up in Blender. I'm actually uploading a new uh, single background, like a drug drug free Dave studio background to my Patreon. So it'll be there. So apparently I did not record audio when I recorded all of this stuff of me working on Blender. So here is a nice time lapse of me uh, working in Blender. This is the drug for Dave Blender Studio 2, which essentially it's just one single background. All the lights and everything are set up and I have just everything set up so I can just really easily bring models into Blender and they look pretty good and then I can render them. So here he is in Blender. It looks pretty good. Uh, everything on Blender takes forever. I can't wait until there's a program that kind of makes it a little easier because Blender is a little bit over the top. I can light, I can render, I can do like a little turntables. I kind of understand a little bit, a little bit, but it's one of those, it's sort of like Photoshop. You need like a lifetime to sort of figure, figure it all out. Uh, for me, I just wind up using it for renders because they look amazing. So I'm going to let this play out. And then at the end, I'm going to show you this render. I have another version of him where the mouth is open. I'll show you that. And I will show you, I, I made some little mushrooms and things like that. So I'm going to put this character and the mushrooms and everything on my Patreon. This is actually going to be for a Skillshare class, this little character. So look out for that. I still have to record the talking head, but that will be out soon. All right, let me know what you think in the comments. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. And don't forget to check out my Patreon. Uh, the more people I get, the more I can upload STLs and every file, every file I'll do, I'll just upload the STL to my Patreon. So holla at me. I don't know why I said that. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.